I don't know. Sometimes I trust people I shouldn't trust way too much. And sometimes I don't trust people who have not given me a reason not to trust them. I have watched a lot of Big Brother before going into the Big Brother house. Um, I wasn't a fan for a long time, but in the past few years, I have watched almost every single season. I love Jordan. I think Rachel Riley is TV gold, even though I think she's crazy and I'd be nervous to meet her. I kind of like Danielle and Evil Dick. I think that they are just one of the most dynamic duos, but I would say my all-time favorite players are Frankie Grande and Tommy Bracco because they're my friends. Um, Tiffany and Chata, who are, um, close friends of mine who were staying at my house who were part of the cookout, DX, and my all-time favorite player is probably Derek from season 16. I would definitely throw a competition because I don't have a lot of stamina. Like I am not a person that would stay hanging upside down for an hour and a half if I didn't feel like I needed to. Um, I'm not that person. So I think I could definitely throw a competition uh, unless I felt like it was do or die and was gonna be the difference between me staying in the game or leaving, then I would definitely not throw it. I think it is a very difficult thing to decide if I would take my closest ally to the final two or um, to take somebody you know you can beat. I think in a regular season of Big Brother, there's 90 days of, of getting to know each other or 70, 80, 90 days. Um, I think in three weeks, there's no way you can form as strong of a bond as people do on a, on a regular season of Big Brother. So I don't know that it would be as difficult for me in a celebrity season to cut somebody who was my closest ally because how close can you be in three weeks? Whereas I think it would be difficult for me to do that if I formed a bond with somebody over three months. Um, so I think that I would be able to cut them off, um, but it just depends. I don't know, because if I really, really liked someone, maybe the money wouldn't be worth it, you know? I think strategy might be the most difficult thing for me. I don't know, sometimes I trust people I shouldn't trust way too much and sometimes I don't trust people who have not given me a reason not to trust them. So I think the social uh, interactions with people is gonna be the part that's the most difficult. I also just have not had great experiences with straight men in my life. So like when there are straight guys around, I tend to like clam up and not, I'm mean, usually not able to find a common ground for us to talk about, which makes life difficult for me sometimes. <laughs> because um, I want to be able to talk to them, but I think I have like so much trauma from growing up um, in Texas around straight guys that it's, it's very difficult for me. And I think that could end up being something that will lead to my demise in the game if I don't find a way to push forward and find something uh, in common with the straight guys there. Luckily, there will probably be people who are in the industry in some way, shape or form. Um, so I, I'm hoping that there are not people there who are extremely homophobic or who are, you know, like, I don't know, I super, super conservative because I don't think that our moral and ethic compasses will align in which case, who knows what our dynamic will be. The main qualities I would look for in an alliance partner is somebody who proves themselves to be loyal. I think a lot of ways people prove themselves to be loyal is not when they're with you, it's the things that they do when you're not looking, it's the things that they say behind other people's backs that let you know where their loyalty really lies. And um, I think loyalty is one of the most beautiful things in the world. It's one of the hardest things to spot and to identify because you just have to trust. It's literally like faith and believing in a religion. And um, so I think that loyalty is the thing that I'll be looking for the most in an alliance partner. And if I feel when I look into someone's eyes and they look back into mine, that it's someone I can trust. And if I believe the words that are coming out of their mouth, I think that's somebody I'll stick with until the end of the game, if, if at all possible.